hey there welcome and welcome back to grow med uh, so this is a video where we will discuss a quick recall of the clinical cases asked in the exam so i have bought here some clinical cases asked in the neat pg as well as the fmge so that um as the exam is near and there's a lot of thing going on in your head how to read what to read okay so a quick recall sessions like this will help you and uh, will make you relax regarding the this okay so watch this a uh, time in the breaks tea break coffee break so it will be a quick um five to ten minutes video and we'll discuss some important clinical cases so how we'll discuss is we will look at just the um hint words given in the clinical cases hint words or the keywords we'll look at the keywords and connect it with the options and then we will um uh, uh, we will look at the correct answer okay so uh, there's a case from the ENT so this is also a mixed bag clinical uh, mixed bag session where we will not be discussing about the subject wise okay so all the subjects will be mixed in this and soon uh, I will try to post such kind of videos uh, five six more videos like this so that uh, you can cover a lot of clinical cases like this okay so um, Adenoid hypertrophy is given in the clinical case and due to it, the patient has chronic nasal obstruction and sleep apnea. What will be the next step of management? So, you need to do adenoidectomy. In the sense, removal of the adenoids in the patient. Okay, so the next question from the micro. So, a patient complains of diarrhea and the other things related to the organism. They have been described. So, these are particularly... Um, or like significant for that organism and this will help you to find out which diagnosis it is so it shows falling leaf motility one important um, point then it is tennis racket shaped and it has four pairs of flagella so what will be the diagnosis like what will be the causative organism so it is the giardia limbia so this uh, question was asked in the fmg exam i think on the jan 21 exam uh, session or some june 20 2021 session i don't know but yes uh, in the 21st ses uh, session this was uh, the question asked okay then uh, this is the need pg question so a uh, patient an elderly patient he had come with the complaints that he cannot close the buttons of the shirt and he also can't make o sign so which is the muscle that is injured so it is the flexor pollicis longus muscle which is uh, injured in this patient okay so this one was the neat question i don't know the year i think need 2020 i don't exactly remember the uh, year but this was a neat question okay then the next this is a repeat topic asked in both neat as well as the fmg and the pattern of this question also remains sometimes different and sometimes one liner sometimes clinical based okay so let's look at it surgery for the varicose vein was done to the patient after the surgery the patient complained of sensory loss over the medial aspect of the leg and the foot so which nerve is damaged so which nerve supplies the medial aspect of the leg and the foot so yes it is the saphenous nerve so injury to this saphenous nerve the patient will be having these complaints and also the questions are asked like this is the most common nerve that is to be injured in case of varicose vein surgery so when we will be doing this varicose vein surgery we will be having this uh, so this was also a pyq asked but simple one liner okay then next uh, there's a question and in that they are describing that a uh, structure which prevents upward extension of the thyroid swelling through its attachment to the thyroid cartilage so it is the sternothyroid so sternothyroid prevents s t e r n o sternothyroid will prevent the upward movement of the thyroid gland then the next clinical case so uh, this is a pediatric case as well as a biochem a case because uh, here they are describing about a type of the glycogen storage disease as well as the lysosomal storage disease okay so cardiomegaly is seen in the patient the baby is floppy hypotonia is seen macroglossia and hepatomegaly is seen so what will be the disease so it is the pomps disease okay so pomps disease 
is a type 2 glycogen storage disease as well as a lysosomal because in this the lysosomes are damaged uh, lysosome enzyme defect due to the enzyme defect the um, contents uh, they accumulate in the lysosomes and lysosomes are present in all the bodies like all the organs it is present so that's why uh, lysosome uh, accumulation of this will cause um, megaly of all the uh, increase in the size of all the uh, structures like see here cardiomegaly is seen because these are accumulating in the heart hepatomegaly because they are accumulating in the liver then hypotonia and floppy baby because these are also accumulating in the muscle and making the muscles weak okay so this is the presentation of the pompous disease in the pompous disease all the organs are involved uh, okay so yes this is one important thing which you must remember about the pompous disease then the next question about the malaria so a uh, very very important topic malaria five star topic one question surely will be coming in the upcoming exam also so the question can come either on the drugs used or the clinical case or the uh, pathology slides okay so have a look at all those things and the uh, malaria topic have been discussed already uh, in my uh, telegram channel there's a paid membership present in which i have discussed about the 150 sure short topics in that i have covered the 150 important topics which you must read for the upcoming fmge so in that malaria is also one of the topic and in one single slide all the things related to the malaria have been covered so if you want to uh, know about the more details you can dm me on the telegram channel the link is given in the description or you can also ask me about it in the instagram okay so and if you want to know about it also then you can comment below so let's uh, focus on the case now 32 year female from assam male sorry male from assam and he is presented with high grade fever chills and headache and blood smear shows p falciparum infection so now the question asked is the treatment for uncomplicated falci plasmodium falciparum malaria is so for this we will be using the act uh, artemisinin based chemotherapy and the drugs used particularly are the art Method combination of the RT method and the you may fentanyl. Okay, so about the malaria. Then next topic. So next clinical case, uh, a quite big clinical case, but uh, no need to worry about it because some things are there which will help you to reach easily to the diagnosis. See fever, headache, and vomiting. These are usually the most common complaints seen in like everything. So let's leave, look at let's leave that. Let's look at the things which will help you to reach the correct diagnosis see first one is this photophobia and neck rigidity is seen and petticle skin rashes prudinsky and karniski sign is positive means they are speaking about the meningitis because these are the signs demonstrating the meningitis okay so and on microscopy of the csf you see gram negative diplococci so what will be the causative organism okay so gram negative diplococci and most common uh, organism that causes what um, this meningitis is the nizaria meningitis meningitis okay so nizaria is the causative organism for this one then moving on to the next so another topic from the ent so a female is there okay then with nasal obstruction dryness foul smelling nasal discharge and nasal crust so foul smelling discharge is present and this can also be described sometime as the merciful anosmia okay so here in this clinical case they are speaking about the atopic rhinitis so the diagnosis is the atopic rhinitis okay then uh, see these are the main words which you must focus because atopic rhinitis is most common in the females females are only affected nasal obstruction is present nasal crust can also be seen and this false many discharge sometimes also called as merciful anosmia mercy okay so yes this is about the atopic rhinitis then the next clinical case a farmer is there with what cutaneous growth on the foot and on hpe you see copper penny bodies what is the diagnosis quite simple case this is asked like in two formats one either in the dermatological and 
either on the micro form and uh, image based question can also be given so they'll give a image of the foot and you can see some words present on the foot so um, this uh, and farmer is then a farmer or forest worker will be described because they are in continuous contact with the soil right so soil say spread hota hai and the diagnosis is the chromoblastomycosis chromo blastomycosis a fungal disease and copper penny bodies is the significant feature of this so whenever you see this copper penny bodies then go with the, the chromoblastomycosis theek hai water lesions of the foot and this to ye jo combination dikhenge na if these two combinations are there then straight away mark it as chromoblastomycosis then 45 year old man uh, he complains of dizziness on lying down and turning on the head and suspicion of benign positional uh, vertigo is done okay paroxysmal uh, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo is done and what is the diagnostic test to confirm the um, confirm our uh, what this we are suspecting bppv right so how we will confirm it so uh, there is a test used for this and that is the dicks hell pick maneuver okay so dicks hell pick maneuver and this test is used for us to demonstrate this one okay for the confirmation of the bpp we then uh, next topic so sometimes image based question of this dicks helpic manual is also asked so have a look at that as well then 46 year female with post coital bleeding and positive pap smear next step of management is the c pap smear is positive so we need to confirm the diagnosis like if pap smear is positive means we will be suspecting some cervical ca okay so for that the confirmation test is the colposcopy directed biopsy to look at the um, changes in the cells okay so directed biopsy is for the confirmation whereas pap smear is just a screening test theek hai so screening test ke liye we will be doing pap smear and management what um, the confirmatory is the colposcopy directed biopsy so yes these are the certain important um, uh, questions clinical cases asked in the exam and uh, yes so i hope this will help you and in like some 12 13 minutes we have discussed some on 12 13 questions and 12 13 topics actually so you can have an idea that if these are asked in the exam then you can uh, easily uh, make it correct so for more amazing things related to the fmg e say stay tuned and if you new to gromed subscribe to gromed and tap the bell icon to get all the uh, notification of all the videos and uh, um, yes all the best for the exam may you all pass the exam with very good score thank you so much guys i am dr padmini your mentor for the fmge bye bye